Hi, welcome to The Smiling Tabby. Thanks for joining me for this video. I wanted to share with you a big Dollar Tree haul that I did yesterday. So I have a number of things here in all different types of boxes, bags, totes. So I just wanna get into it. Some of it's kind of categorized, and some of it's not. So let's just get into it. Um, and the first thing I will show you is I got two of these, I think they're new. They're really nice glass jars. Um, I just rinsed this one out. And then there's this one too, the larger one with the lid. So let me grab this. So they're really nice. And um, I think the label on them did say Greenbrier. So it is a Dollar Tree item. But um, I just quickly kind of poured some water in there to figure out how much they hold. I'd say this is about four cups. Um, this is about two. So these remind me of something you'd see in Ikea. So I really liked these. Um, great for your pantry, great to put out um, for sugar, for your coffee bar or K-cups or, or whatever, you know. Even with some fairy lights in them, they would look really pretty. So, <clears throat> sorry, I gotta, it's morning, so I'm dealing with like a morning voice. Um, and I'm obviously in front of my little tier tray setup with mostly Dollar Tree items. So I'm just gonna start grabbing, let's see, from this one. So a lot of these items in this tote are items that I'm putting together a little um, basket for my son. It's his birthday next weekend and he's a teenager. So I just kind of got like snacks and some little odds and ends to put in a little um, basket for him. So I got these Welch's fruit snacks. Um, I can even open this up and put the individual packs in the basket. And I'll show you the basket too, it's somewhere in here. This isn't that exciting, especially for a teenager, but it's a pack of Bic pens for tw uh, 12 pens for a dollar. Not bad. So you can always use pens, especially if it's a high school student. And he loves Takis, although I will say he doesn't eat as much junk food as he used to, but you know, it's a birthday. You gotta have some junk food. So Takis are totally disgusting in my opinion, but he likes them. Then um, this pack of Imperial Nuts Protein Blend. Um, a little healthier, that one. A little unhealthy, some Oreos. This is a four pack of um, individually wrapped packs. So each individually wrapped pack has two cookies in it and there's four of those. So great to throw in that gift basket. Also great to have for a lunch box, um, some bugles. It's a good size bag. I would say 3.7 ounces, so almost four ounces of bugles, just traditional bugles. Um, a big bottle of the Arizona iced tea. This is the lemon flavor and it's 34 fluid ounces. I think he likes this. I, I don't know if he likes this one or the green tea one. I can't remember. So um, I thought I'd throw a drink in there for him. Some Cheez-Its. And you know, this is just going to be something fun that he can have on the day of his birthday when he wakes up. I'll just put it out for him. And then, you know, obviously I'm going to give him, I think I'm just going to give him some cash. Um, that's what he wants, I'm sure. Starburst, pack of Starburst. Hope everything doesn't fall here. I also got him this Power Stick hair gel. And this is five ounces ultra firm hold. I didn't notice it said ultra firm hold when I bought it. So hopefully that's okay. If you hear any background noise, it's one of my cats going crazy. And this is another power stick item. It's the clear, I'm sorry, cool blue water. It's three in one of foaming body wash. So it's body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. And also, if any of these items don't fit in the basket I got, I will save them for stocking stuffers. So this is the little tote I got him to put the items in. This nice blue, I like this blue shade. And then I got this fun bow. It's actually a two pack, this green bow. So I thought I would just kind of put one of the bows on there and then the other one I can save it for a Christmas um, package. And then also the other thing I got let me see if I can get a little closer. Um, is this Garnier Fructis 
liquid cream. This is low hold for your hair. And it has a nice scent to it. Easy application, no residue. So brand name item there. And let's see. Oh my gosh, but there's definitely too much to fit in here. So I'll have to, you know, kind of space it out between a birthday and Christmas stocking. Sour Patch Kids. Gotta have your Sour Patch Kids. This is another name brand item. This is the Dove Men Plus Care. It's a bar soap. Moisturize, one quarter moisturizing cream. We all know Dove. And the scent is extra fresh. So the Dollar Tree I went to yesterday is actually a really good one. It's a few miles away from where I live. And I had gone there maybe a month or so ago. I didn't film a haul, but I should have because I got some amazing items. This Dollar Tree is large and it's in the former site of a um, discount store. So it's a pretty good size um, space. The store that used to be there years ago, I remember shopping there with my grandma, was kind of like a discount store. I don't know if it was a chain or if it was just like a local, kind of like a Woolworths. Oh my gosh, I'm dating myself. Mixed in with like a Kmart, Big Lots. Anyway, so the last time I went, I found some of the really beautiful glass knobs um, they are, the ones I got are blue and like a floral shape, but they're beautiful vintage looking glass knobs. And what else did I find there? I found these, um, the bead garland. They didn't have the bead garland yesterday when I went and they didn't have the glass knobs because if they did, I would have picked up more. This is an item I've, I've mentioned it before in other videos. It's called So Fresh, So Clean is the brand. It's a drying lotion with, uh, Calamine. This is good for acne spots, stubborn acne spots. Um, it's similar to a name brand called Mario Badescu and this consistency is Calamine lotion like and it helps to dry up any acne spots that you might have, some stubborn spots. It will leave a pink cast so it's something you'd want to do you know at night or when you're home. Um, let's see, I also got a this silly balloon but they didn't have the, the stick to go on it and you know the cashier was busy and they're short staffed i get it i asked her and i don't think she knew where they were so i said don't worry about it i'll just like hot glue a skewer onto it because it's got that little adapter so that's good and the rest of the stuff in here mostly is um party stuff so we're going to have a family party next weekend because my niece's birthday is the day after my son's so we'll do like a joint party a combo party for them and so I just got some party supplies and I just kept it kind of neutral not too feminine not too masculine because my niece is turning three my son's turning 17 so and then this fun birthday banner happy birthday the napkins I'll try to go to a little quicker there's 20 per pack so I got two packs of napkins I got some utensils um I like the green color. I don't know what we're going to do for food. Um, I know, we gotta figure that out. I know I'm gonna make a cake. I'm gonna make a fun fetty cake because everybody loves fun fetty. And then my son also asked for an ice cream cake. So we'll do that. And then this is silly. This is like one of the first things I picked up. A party llama. It's um kind of like pin the tail on the donkey, but it's party hats. So I thought that would be fun for all the little kids and even my son to try. So um, I'll have to remember to bring like a, a bandana or a scarf or something to use as a blindfold. And then, oh, here's another party item. Um, obviously I don't have helium for these, but I'll just blow these up. These are fun. They are like kind of tie dye paint swirly 10 latex balloons. So that's cool. And then it looks like the rest of the things in here, oh, with the exception of these. I got two of these happy birthday balloons, or balloons, candles. I've never used these before, so hopefully they're okay, and hopefully they won't drip everywhere as I have to melt them all, or light them all. But um, this one looks a little more feminine, so maybe I'll put this on the funfetti one. Maybe I'll put this one on the ice cream cake. So that's fun. And then mostly health and beauty in here. Okay, so, and here's a random scarf. I really liked this scarf. The brand is Juncture. And I just really liked the pattern on it and the colors. This is pretty long. It says it's 70, almost 71 inches long by almost eight inches wide. So just a really pretty 
scarf that can go with any type of jacket or um, coat or even if you're just wearing it inside with a sweater. I really like that for a dollar. Can't beat it. Bobby pins. I realized last weekend I didn't have any bobby pins. I had like three. So I picked up a pack of bobby pins. Good if you're, you know, doing a hairdo. And then I got these jaw clips. They're larger, blackened tortoise shell. And two of these, um, these are a name brand. It's Village Naturals Therapy. It's the Concentrated Mineral Bath Soak, Aches and Pains, Nighttime Relief, Powerful Therapeutic Blend, Restful Sleep, Sore Tired Feet, On The Go Relief. So great to put into like, uh, if you're gonna do like a gift bag with all little odds and ends for somebody or a gift basket. But also, <clears throat> even if your feet are sore, you could just dump this into like a little basin or and sit on the edge of your tub and soak your feet. And then also, I already opened this. It's called Spa Naturals Aromatherapy Shower Fizzers. I love things like these, especially if you're congested or you're feeling sluggish. You just put these on the floor of your shower and they kind of perk you up. And this is eucalyptus spearmint scent and, eat, and inside each one is individually wrapped. It looks like a giant Alka-Seltzer. And the smell is really good. It's turn your, uh, turn your shower into a relaxing aromatherapy experience. Effervescent shower fills with fragrance. Place a tablet on your shower floor or shelf where it gets wet, but not in the main water stream as it fizzes the aroma is released. It is, <clears throat> excuse me, distributed by Blue Cross Laboratories, Santa Clarita, California. And then also similar to those is another brand of shower fizzers. This is the Be Pure brand and their shower fizzers and there's three in here. This one is Lavender Scent, Therapeutic Calming Relaxing. And this one is Coconut, Therapeutic Exotic and Uplifting. And let's take a look. I don't know if these are individually wrapped inside, I think. Oh yeah, they are. So you could even take these out of the package and put them in a glass jar like this if you wanted to in your bathroom. So, also, I got these last time I was at this particular Dollar Tree and I was really glad that they had more. So this is a full-size L'Oreal item. It's uh, dry shampoo and it's clay, extraordinary clay, dry shampoo, clay in a spray. And I did look this up. I scanned the barcode on my Walmart app and it's like $7 at Walmart. And it has a nice, it has a nice fresh, like showery fragrance. It's not super floral. So it could be used for, you know, men or women. Um, sometimes my son uses dry shampoo. So this, I was really excited about this. So I got a couple to keep at home as backups. And then I got a couple to make little gift bags of items for my sisters for Christmas or their birthdays. Let's see, okay, these, I don't know if these are gonna work. So um, I hope so. It's a Dollar Tree brand, so it's called Sassy and Chic. And these are, they're calling them eyebrow razors. And I, it was, interested in these because there's a brand and the name is awful but it's called tinkle tinkle makes a brand of eyebrow razors like this but people use them to dermaplane their face um to take off that peach fuzz and the dead skin cells um you hold it very carefully at like a 45 degree angle and you actually shave your face and once you've dermaplaned your face it, your, your makeup goes on a lot um, nicer, it lays nicer, your products, your skincare products go in better. It just gives you like a nicer finish. Your face looks brighter. So I'm not sure if these are gonna be as good as the Tinkle ones. Um, the Tinkle ones are okay. The best result I ever had was when I had it professionally done. So I went to a, um, you know, a, a salon in, in the professional aesthetic, aesthetician did it for me. But I think in certain states you have to be licensed in order to do that. And I don't know if that's in every state, but um, it was really nice. So this is another re um, repeat purchase. This is the Ioni brand. 
This is the lip gloss and it's the color on the back says pink gold, but then it says sweet buzz and it's got these adorable cherries. And I picked this up last time I was at this Dollar Tree. They had, I was looking for the Ioni makeup. So Ioni makes a lot of fake lashes that Dollar Tree sells, but they came out with makeup, a lot of lip products, lip glosses, lip pencils, like crayons for your lips, chubby sticks. I think an eyeliner, maybe a brow pencil. And so the last time I was there, I did notice a display, but it was like in a cardboard display, like three feet high on the floor. So when I went back today, that display was still there, but there wasn't many products left. But this actually, I really love this color. I'll open it for you and swatch it. And I wanted to have it, have a spare so I can like have one at home and then have one in my purse. Let's see if I can open this. Okay. And most of the other colors, I will be honest, were a little darker and they weren't bad. Um, I liked some of them. I picked up a few for, as gifts too. So this might look a little crazy in this lighting, but this is the color. It's a shimmery pink color. And it's really nice. And you can actually, you know, put this on top of a darker lip color and try it that way. Okay, also on the makeup front, this is another repeat purchase. So this is a Wet n Wild item and it's called Hello Halo. It's a liquid highlighter, highlighter and it's in rosy and ready. So I picked this up last time and I really liked it. I've never used anything like this before. And for an event, I put some on like my um, cheekbone up here. I put some on my lid. It was nice for a nighttime event and it wasn't too dramatic, but it just gave you a nice little glow. And when I got home from the event, I was unpacking my stuff and I realized this, which I thought was plastic, is actually glass and it had shattered. So it was all over the place, all over my floor. So. I was lucky enough to find two more, so I picked up one to have as a backup and have one to use. This is another item that I've never used before. The brand, oh my gosh, my cat is right near the camera. Hey, uh-uh, down. Here, I'll distract him with his hair tie. There he goes. Um, this is a Hard Candy Makeup Drops, and they only had this color, which is three, medium, and it was actually, you know, things get crazy at the Dollar Tree and messy. It was in a like bin, like a Lucite container in with the cosmetics and a lot of things were like all powdery and messy. So I had saw, I had seen this and it was still like closed up and sealed up and everything. And I just took a wipe out of my purse and wiped it up and said, you know what, let me try it. So I, again, I don't know how well this will show up if I, swatch it for you and this lighting is not that great so it's got like a um dropper kind of a like a eyedropper and i'm just gonna do a couple drops well maybe do a couple more and it's very liquidy so you could add this you could add this to a um, foundation that you have that might be a little bit too light you know, you could use this in the summer when you need a little bit more color. Um, it gives a little, it gives a nice sheen. You could just put this right over your moisturizer or your SPF. I don't know if you can see, but my hands are so veiny. But it, it, this is the one that has it on it. It gives it a nice little glow. So yeah, really nice product. Hard Candy Mix In. Okay, it's called Hard Candy Glamouflage. Mix in pigmented makeup drops. Okay, so that's it for this bin. Yes, that's it for this bin. Okay, bear with me. I need a sip of water. I should have hydrated before this video. Okay. This is another thing that I saw um, other people grab and I was fortunate enough, fortunate enough to find it. This is a laundry stain removal. The brand is Soil Love. What? I don't love soiled things, but it is effective on blood, grease, ink, beverage, food, glass, perspiration, and most other stains. Use on color fast, product, um, fabrics, test before using. So um, yeah, you just treat it and then you can also add it, add a little to each load for softer and brighter washes. And this is made in the USA. It's 16 fluid ounces. And I will tell you, it smells not that great. 
it smells like a cleanser. Like it doesn't smell like laundry. It smells like something you'd clean your bathroom with. So hopefully if you do use it, the scent fades. But I will show you the back so you can see. So Soil Love. Yeah, and they have a number of them there. So I'm like, okay, I'll grab it. I had a, like a little wish list. Um, I keep like a little business guy, business size card in my wallet. And that's where I jot down the wish list items that I'm looking for. So when I get to a Dollar Tree, I have a plan. Okay, this is like random items. Um, stay. Okay. This is um, a 10 pack of Fab is the brand. They're laundry packs. So um, I don't usually use this brand. Excuse me, my cat is like bugging. Hey. Uh-uh. No. Um, but I thought this would be good to have just as a backup in case I run out of laundry detergent, I'll just have this tucked away in, in, on the shelf. You know, I'm always like thinking like, okay, it's winter, you know, I don't feel like running out to the store because I'm out of laundry detergent, I can grab my fab. And, um, you know, it's not a big deal if you run out of dishwasher detergent, you can always wash dishes by hand, but I ain't washing my clothes by hand, okay? That's that. Okay, this, I don't know if this is gonna be good or not. This is, I got this as a stocking stuffer for my son. It's a phone holder. It's called the mobile gaming grip handle. You can put your phone in there and then it's kind of like a remote, um, like a gaming, um, handheld gaming thing, I'm a jigger, but it's also a phone stand. So I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna be good or not. Um, it says compatible with most smartphones, extends up to 18 centimeters. I don't know what that is in inches, sorry. This is another like random item, but I got this from the tool bench section. These are those teeny tiny screwdrivers. You know, you always need these and you can never find anything. So then you're like using a knife, trying to open the screwdriver, the, the cap, um, cap cabinet, no compartment where the screw is. Um, also like if you're a parent and you have kids with toys that make sound, it's always that battery compartment has a screw on it for safety. And then you're like, where's the screwdriver? So I thought these might come in handy. There are six in here, all varying sizes. And it's in this nice little container. So I'll add that to my toolbox. And uh, let's see. Okay, it's like some crafty stuff. Some, oh gosh, everything. Okay, um, I love bottle brush trees for decorating for not just Christmas, but winter. So Dollar Tree has come out with a bunch of different bottle brush trees in different shapes and colors. I really liked the funkiness of this one. And it's just called Christmas Tree. And I do have a bunch of bottle brush trees and um, I just wanted to add some more because I thought they would be really cute if I did a whole display of just all trees on a tiered tray. And then I have a tiered tray at work too in my office, so I could put some there too. Okay, here's another one. So you can see like the different shapes. This is a green glitter one. It's kind of like got the different segments. I really like that one. This one's kind of a wild Dr. Seussy looking one. <laughs> Almost looks like an umbrella. Again, it's the same Christmas tree tag. That's really kind of fun. And you know, if they are bent or whatever, they're on wire so you can turn them. And then this is a pretty blue one. Some of them that were ombre, like they started out like light and then got darker or vice versa. But the bases are really nice pieces of wood. You know, you pay a lot more than a dollar at other stores for them. Here's the white one. It's cute. Last one. This one's just like your traditional green with the snow flocking. Not a toy for decorative use only. Oh, I'm sorry, I just moved my camera. And also picked up this, this is large. It's got something on it too. It is the Crafters Square DIY ornament. This thing is big. I mean, this is my hand. So um, you can pop this off and fill it with snow. If you have a really skinny um, bottle brush tray, because they do sell them in a multi-pack, they're smaller ones, you could kind of slide that in there and do a cute little ornament for that. Let's see what else. 
Okay, this beautiful bow, I think I got two of these. The brand is Voila. And I really liked the kind of candy cane kind of pattern, but also the ribbon looks, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a textured, like a grosgrain ribbon. Can you see that? Just really nice quality. And let's see. Okay, so I got a number of packs of these. It's, it's the Tractor Square Decorative Mesh. I got it in black because I'm going to be doing a project with this. So I will share more about that as I get to the other pieces. And then I got a number of <clears throat> rolls of their burlap ribbon. There are nine feet in here. I got the three rolls of brown. Oops. <laughs> I got a roll of the pink. Oh, here's another roll of brown and a blue. So bluish green, I don't know, the lighting in here is awful. I'm thinking I could always use this as its intended purpose for ribbon, but I was also thinking for the dollhouse that I'm redoing for my nieces for curtains. So I purchased some um, from Dollar Tree wooden beads that are like a square. And I thought those could serve as the curtain brackets. And then I could take a skewer to serve as the curtain rod. And I'd paint them all like off white. It's kind of like my color theme in the dollhouse and then use the pieces of ribbon as like a panel on each side of the curtain rod. And obviously I'd have to like fold the edge, you know, and glue it to make like a hem on the top and the bottom. So I don't know, I'll try it and, and see. And if it doesn't work, then I just have ribbon for crafting and, and gift back, um, packages and whatnot. This is another item for a craft that I'm going to talk about too later on, a DIY that I've seen other people do. This is the Styrofoam Pumpkin. I have three of these totals, so we'll talk more about that. Let me put that over here. Um, okay, these are just, oops, what's under here? Nothing. Okay, this is the Jot brand, and there are three, a quantity of three of these plastic um, vinyl envelopes with a little button. The reason I got these is I'm doing the gift bags for my nieces and my nephew and probably one for my cousin's daughter. And I have a stash of stickers for them, but I thought I could put the stickers in here and then put this in the gift bag with all their other little activities. Speaking of activities for the kids, I picked this up. I picked up two of these, I think. It's called The Magic Purse. It's really cute. It's by Crown Jewels, made in the US, no, designed in the USA, made in China. And it's a coloring and sticker activity book. So you have one page of stickers and then you have pages to color. So really cute. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I got two of those. Um, okay, this I already opened, but this is, um, the brand is Centos and it says they're hot, cold, changing jumbo erasers. They change colors. I will say that I did not have luck with these changing colors. So um, this is how many you get. There's actually another unicorn too that I already took out because I wanted to see if it changed colors with me holding it in my hand for a while and it really didn't change colors. And even though the brand is Centos, um, they're not scented. So they were just okay. Good to throw in a gift bag for kids, but I wasn't that impressed. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about the craft with the pumpkin. So the styrofoam pumpkin that I got three of, I've seen this online, so this is not my idea. I'm just gonna borrow it from other people that did it. I found two of these. These are the, um, I don't know what you call these. It's almost like balsa wood planks with a little hanger on them. This is what I've seen. So people take these styrofoam pumpkins, they usually chalk paint them. I don't know whether they do that before or after they cut them in half. So you take this pumpkin, you cut it in half and you glue it. You glue like three on here or four. I think it's usually three. And then you have a beautiful display and you know, each pumpkin could be a different shade. I've seen people do like white pumpkins, like a very subtle bluish white pumpkin, a subtle like sage green. Then I've also seen people where they remove this part, the stem and replace it with like a, a piece of wood from, you know, just outside in your yard to make it look more realistic. 
And so I did get two of these and I thought these would be fun to craft with. Even if you don't use it for this project, you could use these for anything else. You could put, um, you could paint this, you could add other things to this. You don't have to have this showing. You could put a big bow here so nobody would see this. Um, there's just a lot of things you could do with them. So that's one project. The other project, when I mentioned the, de the decorative mesh, um, I've seen people make crescent moon wreaths out of these wreath forms. So this is the wreath ring by Crafters Square. And I'll have to watch a few more videos before I do it. But I think what they've done is they've cut a section of this off and removed it. So you take this part away. Then with the remaining pieces of metal, they kind of um, pull them and point them, you know, pull them into a point and wrap with like wire so that you've got that crescent moon point shape. Then I thought I would wrap it in that black decorative mesh to serve as like a base. Then upon that, I can do moss, dried flowers, silk flowers, which I didn't find today. The, qual the selection wasn't that great. So I'll probably go to like Michael's or something. So I ended up getting two just in case I screw up or in case I wanna make one as a gift. That's that. Okay, so I got these two yard stake signs. They're exactly the same. And they have this stick on the back and the stick is this black color. And there's actually like a little piece of ribbon to like hang it. And the reason I got these is, I mean, they're very cute, but I really want to take these, um, the sign, portions off, remove this and this. And for what I've seen online, it's very easy to do. And I actually <clears throat> want to replace it with this Halloween sign so that I have a Halloween sign in my yard. I got this one and this one on another trip. And I really love the designs. And I wanted to put these outside. I would love to hang them on my house, but where I live, there's rules. You can't hang things on the siding or the exterior of your home. So I thought I could put these outside, but we know that the quality is not the greatest for like outdoor elements. So what I purchased is, I think from Walmart, I got, I think it's the brand is Rust-Oleum. It's like a clear protectant spray. So I've sprayed these a couple times, front and back, hoping that will give them a little bit of protection. And then I'm also going to use Mod Podge, which I picked up at the Dollar Tree, and put like a thin coat of Mod Podge on each side, but also really get in the edges here, the sides, and then glue them on here. That was a long way of saying that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Then I picked up, I picked up a total of two of these. Um, these are just the wire trays i thought good for paperwork we've got a pile of school papers here so they're always like all over the dining room table so this is a good way to contain them i've actually done a gift basket for somebody um, using this before i'm putting all kinds of like bath and body items in here and i think i lined it with a scarf so and it's very light and i like the gold color what else is in here okay crafting mat i've been looking for one of these a cutting mat i keep saying crafting mat cutting mat and this is the information on the back. It's just like a great for your exacto knife. You can even put your hot glue gun on there so it doesn't drip everywhere. I try to make this a little quicker because we're going long. More of those pumpkins, like I said, cut them in half. Then I'd have six halves. Um, this I thought I got two of these. I'm not sure. I've purchased this before. This is the Sure Fresh cupcake, or I call it cupcake or muffin carrier. Um, the quality is not great, but it's not that bad. Um, obviously it's not a Tupperware type of quality, but if you're bringing cupcakes over to somebody's house or muffins and you bring them in this, you not worry about getting your container back. Um, it latches on the side right here. Sometimes they're a little bit of a struggle, but um, I got two, I thought I got two. Um, they're just good to have around. Okay, so this item, is a laundry item. It's in in whoosh, in wash, aroma booster, and odor eliminator. This is heavy. 17.5 ounces. I think this is similar to like the Unstoppables, the Downy Unstoppables, and there's other brands. But you put this in your wash and it gives your clothes 
towels, whatever you're washing, a nice scent boost. And I don't know, see, you won't be able to see, but the color I got was pink, but every now and then there's like different colored beads in here sporadically thrown in there. And it's not labeled like what color, what scent you're getting. So at the store, I opened them up and there was this pink one, there was purple, like a lavender, and then there was like a yellow. I don't think I saw a blue. I'm not really sure what the deal is with these as far as like who who makes these. I, I thought I heard that somebody said these were like the name brand ones that were like kind of seconds. So they repackaged them and gave them to Dollar Tree. I don't know. So you use a capful for a touch every day, add more for long lasting freshness, put directly into the washer before you add your clothes. So I've also used, I think I bought a sample, like a little sample pack of the down hand stoppables and put them in an old um, salt and pepper shaker with the holes on the top. So make a little portable air freshener. So grab that. Um, oh, here's some more, let me get this a little closer. Here's some more of the ribbon that I talked about. The nine, did I say it was nine feet? Nine feet of ribbon. Um, here's some more decorative mesh. Here's another one of those bows. Here is, okay, this is, the last time I saw this was over the summer. This is the peace sign wreath shape. And the last time I found this was at this store. And um, I've used this before. I should have taken it down. There's one in my living room. And what I did with this is um, I had a lot of seed beads. Seed beads are really tiny little beads, like what's on my necklace. And it was very tedious, but I put them all in wire and then I wrapped them all around this really pretty. You can even add fairy lights to this. That would look pretty. I just don't know about that like heavy Bavary pack. That would be a challenge. You'd have to figure out how to hide that. I also did two more of these with um, larger beads. I had a collection of these glass beads, really beautiful, but I didn't know what to do with them. So I, again, put those on wire and then wrapped them, oops, wrapped them all around this. So I have two versions. I have the seed bead one, I have the glass bead one, and then another glass bead one. I'm going to give this a gift. Okay, this guy is so cute. He's a little devil. Oh my gosh, look at him. He He's so cute. And the brand is Ty. He's a little teeny Ty. And his name, it's just, it's just devil. I was like, is that a bat or a devil? And they had another one with like a frowny face, but I just thought he was so cute and just like, I just want to grab him. So I think I might put this in my niece's birthday bag. I don't know. I feel like she'd think it was silly. Um, okay, so more things for kiddos. A couple books here. Stick, stick to learning. This is an animals book, but it's like sticker and activity book. So just quickly thumb through it. So you get your stickers in the beginning. And they're really cute little stickers. And then you go through and match them up into like the type of environment they live in. And then there's like a maze. So this is um, Flower Pot Press is the brand, but I think it's also a Greenbrier product. So I got that. And then I got two of these, big or little. This is also Flower Pot Press. And so you have your stickers here. And then, oh, that's a little warped right there. And then you have where you plop them in. So great to like take along if you're bringing your kids to like a doctor's appointment or you're going to um, a restaurant to keep them busy. This one is so cute. I don't know if I got this one before. I know I got a paint with water before. And if it's an, a duplicate, that's okay. I'll, I have lots of children in my family to get this to. Paint with water, I remember this as a kid. And the kittens, so cute. Remember all you just needed was water, a cup of water and a paintbrush, oops. The little kitten designs. There's not a lot of pages in here, but um, they are perforated so you could tear it out. And then the back, look at that little baby. Look at that little baby face. Um, has this little frame so you could cut, have a parent, you know, help you cut this out and you could frame your creation. Okay, I think I'm almost done. I'm all over the place. Here is another one of those um, magical purse activity books. Here's another activity book. This one is Sticker Tivity Funny Frames. It's good. So it's got like the Disney Pixar characters. 
and it says dreamtivity an imprint of retail centric marketing but then it also says imported by greenbrier so you have all your little like face accessories and then you can pop them in and see i think this is the last of it Ooh, okay so i found these and i full disclosure i saw this on someone else's channel sarah jane i've said her channel before um, chic on the cheap. I have glitter all over me from those trees. A fair warning, there's a lot of glitter fallout from these, just so you know. Um, anyway, she mentioned that these frames, sorry about any glare, these um, kind of collage frames are a perfect fit for the pages from the Dollar Tree, like farmhouse type of calendars that we all know and love. If you wanted to frame some of the pages because they are so beautiful that they do fit in here. I haven't tried it myself yet, but I will. Um, I will tell you that, you know, I've heard that the glass in Dollar Tree, like framed art with glass is very, very thin. Um, obviously this is glass. It doesn't feel that thin to me, so just be careful. And then, you know, there's a way to hang it. So anyway, that's it. Um, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a Dollar Tree shopper and you're looking for some uh, wishlist items, I hope you find them. And thanks for sticking around. Bye.